Today we're chatting about none other than Mani Kasanaz, which is a collab between the beautiful Sharita M and Navitus, which I know another Navitus fragrance review, but it's okay. And I still have one more to go, <laughs> but more on that later. Can I just say that when Sharita announced this collab, I had already made up my mind to buy it. <laughs> I just knew it was going to be something elegant and feminine because that's just the type of energy, energy she gives off to me. And then when she mentioned it was named after her daughter Imani, I was ready to give her my car details in the comments because why would I not want a fragrance with my namesake on it? Like, <laughs> that's just another level cool. But yeah. Let's just get right into it. But first, please don't forget to subscribe. Okay, thanks. So, like I said, Mani Kasanad is a collaboration between Sharita M and Navitus. And the perfumer for this uh, fragrance is Bertrand Duchefort. Top notes are vanilla ice cream, cashmere, bergamot, mid notes, brown sugar, toffee, amberwood, and base notes, vanilla caviar, crystal musk, and Peruvian white amber. But before we begin, um, please excuse my voice. I'm getting over of the flu that had me out for an entire week, so please don't mind that. Can we just take a second to uh, admire this bottle? <laughs> like, it's like this r sparkly rose gold ombre with this golden juice. It literally looks like something uh, a Disney princess would keep on their vanity. I don't know, maybe I'm weird, but it's just so pretty to me. So on the first spray, I get a velvety vanilla with some smoke. Um, not really a burning wood type of smoke, but it's like the smoke that's, that comes with a, a dessert in a high-end restaurant where they like present it in like a smoke bubble. If, if smoky vanilla ice cream was a thing, then I feel like this is what it would smell like. I know that's a weird description, but that's e exactly what it smells like. However, the opening quickly gives way to the brown sugar and the toffee, which is most undeniably my favorite part of this perfume. Um, think Vanilla 28 minus the spiciness, but you add toffee instead. It moves from being quite airy and pretty to a darker and more sultry which is a transition I wasn't really expecting, but I'm definitely here for it. By the way, I didn't really get any bergamot in the opening, but then again, that could be what's keeping it light and airy in the beginning. Here, the smokiness transitions from being wispy to being slightly incensey as like the white musk joins the party. Um, I feel like the amberwood smokiness is what links the entire progression of this fragrance. Then as you get to the dry down, the toffee begins to dissipate slightly. Um, and what you're left with is a pure, sweet, smoky vanilla. This is like your final boss vanilla. Once you've experienced all of the vanillas, you get to Monte Costana and that's it. <laughs> I was surprised though because I didn't expect it to remain super sweet because of the, the vanilla caviar and I know that note can sometimes give off a greenness or a freshness in fragrances and if you don't know what vanilla caviar is it's what you get when you scrape the inside of a vanilla pod so that's why it can give off kind of an earthy greenness but that's not the case here. I'm assuming because of the white amber. 
I've never even heard of white amber before, so I had to look it up. And apparently it gives off a sweet vanilla-like aroma as compared to normal amber, which we're all used to, which gives off more of a resinous, balsamic, sometimes syrupy aroma. To be honest, I think both men and women can wear this. Men can pull this off because of the smokiness that kind of lingers throughout. If you're into scents like uh, Victoria's Secret Bare Vanilla, Vanilla 28, Escapade Gourmand, or any scent like that, you you will love this. If I had to rank these, Bare Vanilla would be the baby. <laughs> Vanilla 28 would be like the teenage daughter. Mani Kasnad would be the mother, the most fabulous mother. <laughs> And Escapé Gourmand would be like the mother's best friend. I know, but somehow that makes sense in my head. <laughs> Anyways, also, if you're a fan of uh, Gourmand Bacour by Jusset, 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 sorry if I'm mispronouncing that, I think you will love this. It's a no brainer. Mani Castanat is lighter than Gourmand Bacor, but they're both in that sweet, smoky family. And to be fair, I don't see anyone disliking this unless they just dislike sweet vanillic fragrances in general, or they just absolutely do not like um, smokiness in their fragrances as well. When or where to wear this? Um, the mix of the notes in here is so wonderfully done. I think this can be worn every season, day or night. It just depends on the person, right? Me, personally, I make this a signature scent, but I'm also a person that prefers deep, dark, dense perfumes. So this is just an easy reach for me. This wouldn't be something that uh, offends me throughout the day. But if you're a person that prefers light scents or clean scents, um, you'd enjoy this as a nighttime fragrance for sure. Or like a nighttime fall winter fragrance. But this is definitely for the, the confident vanilla wearer. It's not juvenile in the slightest. In fact, I would say this is a 21 plus vanilla. And if you really want to push it, a 25 plus vanilla. The teens and in-betweeners can stick to the Vanilla 28 and that's no shade to Vanilla 28 because I've gone through bottles on bottles and bottles of that. Um, but I don't think that this will appeal to that age range. This gives off a very sultry vibe that just screams a different kind of like mature confidence. I just know when I layer this with my um, Lorenzo Pazaglia than ecstasy that I'll just be beside myself because there's no one in the world that will smell better than me. <laughs> Which leads me to my next point, layering, my favorite hobby. I think this will make an amazing base for layering. If you're someone that doesn't necessarily care to have a humongous perfume collection, you can use this to layer with fragrances you already have to give them more depth. And this also works with uh, making your spring summer vanillas, like Escapade Gourmand, for instance, more fall winter appropriate without changing the scent profile too, too much. I've only had this for a few days, um, so I really can't comment on longevity yet because I haven't really worn it outside for that long but when it arrived I was beginning to get over um, this flu and I can still smell it on my hand even though my, my nose was stuffy so I can at least say that the projection is there for the first few hours and it was specifically the toffee brown sugar and amber wood that I was I could smell the oil concentration in, in this is very high, by the way, so just be careful when spraying it on your clothes. 
my arm was very shiny on the areas where I sprayed it. I'm also intending to let this oxidize for a few weeks just to let the juice uh, age a bit. I do this with all my perfumes, especially my vanilla based perfumes and my new releases. It allows for the juices just to uh, develop a bit more. That's why some people can hate a fragrance at first and then love it when they pick it back up uh, weeks to months later. And vanilla based fragrances do this so well. So I wouldn't be surprised at all if months from now the vanilla in here overtakes the smokiness which I hope it doesn't because I really enjoy the smokiness I think it gives a lot of depth and uniqueness to this fragrance but I don't mind either way it's delicious either way I want to buy another bottle of this either way but it's sold out so we're praying for a restock. I want to congratulate Sharita M on this collab. Moni Kasnad is absolutely beautiful. I trust her nose even more now. And if this is what her creative vision is like, if she ever comes out with her own fragrance line, I'm there. <laughs> you can tell that there was intentional thought put into this fragrance which produced an absolutely exquisite result. And I'm not even just hyping her up because she's a, a YouTuber. It's, I truly do love this fragrance. I think this is the vanilla I was missing in my large collection of vanillas. <laughs> I definitely recommend this if you're looking to purchase it. To be fair, now I'm wanting the body cream, the body oil, everything. Like, Navitas doesn't even do it. But if they ever did, I'd be picking it up. I want, no, I need <laughs> this smell on me every day in multiple layers. But yeah, those are my thoughts on Mani Kasanad, Navitas's newest release in collaboration with Sharita M. Please don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss my weekly uploads. And let's chat in the comments. How are you finding this new release?